there everybody ma terry here and which fabulous co-star do i have going right now or are you a coco star it's a fabulous miss lucy say hi to everybody miss lucy miss lucy is doing great aren't you miss lucy yes she is all right and let me get my other fabulous co-star we have so much to talk about today shelby say hi to everybody what shelby's like who is that? Who is that? Oh my gosh, we have so much to talk about. I don't know if you remember the movie Nomadland, but uh, Sue Ann Carlson, she's been the director for Home on Wheels Alliance forever. Um, and she is so sweet. She is one of the sweetest women I know. She was in the movie that uh, she was talking about the type of bucket she used. Like most people use a five gallon bucket. She lived in a Prius, so she had a two or a three gallon bucket. But if you have bad knees and she pulls up this jumbo bucket, you can have a seven gallon bucket. That's Sue Ann. Well, miracle of all miracles. She adopted a little puppy called Lenny and I am so happy for her. Why am I happy for her? Because Miss Lucy changed my life. She really did uh, change my life. I can't believe it. And uh, I hope uh, she gets as much joy from Lenny as I do from Miss Lucy. All right, I'm not going to hold you up. I'm not going to hold you up. We have uh, exciting Rubber Tramp Rendezvous news. We have so much news to go over. This is so exciting. All right, allegedly and tentatively, uh, the Rubber Tramp Rendezvous will be on approximately January 3rd of 2024 in Quartzsite, Arizona. Okay, turn off your TVs now. That's all you need to know. Um, now, let me explain it. All right, usually Bob uh, arranges it in such a way. We, there's the big tent show. And what the big tent show is, they set up, it, it's a huge tent. <laughs> That's what the big tent show is. And basically, uh, if you're a work camper, you're looking for a job, there's over 100 employers there. Um, it's pretty amazing. So uh, after the Rubber Tramp Rendezvous ends, this gives you time to uh, go over to the big tent show and uh, perhaps get a job. They have uh, RV things to fix up your RV. They have solar people there. Uh, they have all sorts of things for uh, the nomadic community. So uh, tentatively, it's about January 3rd, and I hope they do the uh, woman's RTR. Um, I know a lot of men get butt hurt. It's like, why can't we go to the woman's RTR? Really? You want to talk about feminine products and needs? It's like, come on, guys. Uh, give us a break. Uh, <laughs> sometimes people are just so silly. But uh, some guys really do get butt hurt. And uh, it's like, you know what? There's this wonderful place. What's it called? Beer Bellies? Go over there, have a beer, and uh, enjoy your life, you know? You don't have to talk about those things, you know? Anyhow, so that's why Bob does it like two weeks before the Big Tent Show. Um... And Quartzsite is working out. Now, don't hold me to those dates. Anything can happen, you know. Uh, this country has been crazy for about four years now. Uh, anything can happen. So anything can change. But uh, plan on coming to Quartzsite. Uh, be there. You know, I get there early. I get there about... Uh, well, usually a week before this year. I think I'm going to do two weeks before. Oh, if this is your first time coming to Quartzsite... You really want to familiarize yourself with the area. And uh, here I am to help you. Under my playlist, uh, Quartzsite and uh, Rubber Tramp Rendezvous, I have all sorts of videos like uh, where to take free showers at or showers for 5 or $10. I explain the differences, where to get the freshest produce, uh, which dog parks to use and when. As so much information is under my uh, video under my playlist Quartzsite. So uh, get caught up. And uh, this year I'll get there earlier to see if anything has changed. Also, uh, food pantries are there. Uh, thrift stores are there. So, uh, and uh, yeah, I'm going to have to separate uh, some things. In Quartzsite, I also have some van builds of people that I met in Quartzsite. And now I have a playlist for van conversions. Anyhow, I'm excited. I can't wait to uh, get there. I can't wait to uh, be with my old friends. I can't wait to camp with my new friends. So if you, it's your first time there, put it in the comments below. Uh, Parkins Ease, Bob has it all down pat. He, he really does. Uh, it's a smoothest, op smoothest, 
smooth operation. We'll just put it that way. Yeah, you know, yes, it has some glitches, you know, uh, but uh, it, it, it all works. It all comes together. So I hope you're getting as excited as I am. Uh, yes. All right. So, oh, and I'm going to say something. Okay. If I put up a video, like let's say it's another car video and you're like, Terry, that's the hundredth car video this month. Just push the like button. Do me a favor. It helps me get in the algorithm. It really does. And, uh, you know, I am not a steady producer. All of a sudden, you know, you'll get videos uh, three times a day, a couple of shorts, a longer one. And then like, uh, I'm coming into my surgery soon. So I do have a couple of videos uploaded, but I'm not going to be consistent. And because I'm not consistent, I, I, it's not a punishment, but it, it certainly seems like it. You know, my videos don't get promoted as when I'm being very consistent. It's like, I know how to do a YouTube channel. I know how to, uh, uh, I, I know how to get it really up there in everything, but you know, it, it's like, I can do videos just on cooking with the hot logic or just on videos with the, my mini noodle cooker. And if I just did one type of video every day, uh, I would be zooming up there. But it's like, I need to talk to you about batteries. I need to talk to you about uh, traveling. I need, you know, so, you know, in my hashtags are like cheap eats, budget travel, but I seem to drive uh, YouTube nuts. Anyhow, that's why it's so important to uh, push the uh, like button. It, it really does help me. So thank you. I know there are a lot of people that do that consistently, but like I said, you may say, oh no, another washing machine video, but it helps. So thank you in advance. Did you push the like button? I certainly hope so. Anyhow, all right, so now I'm going to update you on surgery. Uh, the tethered scar has not fallen out yet, so we are on. I don't know the exact uh, time yet, but uh, yeah, it's coming up. So yes, my uh, YouTube channel is going to get a little flaky for a while. Usually I'm flat on my back for a couple of days. Uh, even though I do well with anesthesia, not my favorite thing. All right. Now let's move on to poll results. I, I, I put out a poll and thank you all for responding and we are going to have hot sandwiches and cheeseburger and fries won overwhelmingly, but a few people, like I said, I'm going into surgery. So it's like, if this was my last meal, what would I like my last meal to be? And, uh, I'm going for the hot Italian sausage. That's what I'm having. So join me on Friday. Any hot sandwich will do. And uh, let's chit chat. Let's, uh, I, I absolutely love that session that you all sit around, eat with me. I get to ask you important questions like, what are you eating? Uh, which I enjoy. I like, I like it. I do. I do. All right. So now we are moving on. Uh, I've been exhausted lately. In fact, my girlfriend called and it's like, sleep? Talk to my girlfriend and it's like, I passed out on the bed two minutes. Uh, just, I just passed out. So, uh, the van, my van is almost totally rebuilt. Did I say coffee up everybody? Everybody coffee up. My van is almost totally rebuilt for the summer. Yay. And, uh, I'll, I'll explain what I do. Okay. There is my summer build and there is my winter build. Now then my winter build, um, in the winter, it's cold, it's cold, it's cold, it's cold. It doesn't matter whether I'm in Quartzsite, Arizona, Bullhead City, Lake Havasu, am I over in Yuma, am I in Southern California? Cold is cold. The average is like 70-something degrees during the day. It goes down to 30s and 40s at night. So it's set up for cold, it's cold, it's cold. During the summer, when I travel, you know, I can be, uh, let's see... Let me see if I remember the order right. Okay, St. George is down here. Then I can climb up an elevation to Cedar City. And then I'm up here in Brian's Head. Well, every time I change altitude, which is all throughout the country, whether I'm in Colorado, the Great Smoky Mountains, Poconos, uh, I can be in a hot, miserable, humid place. You know, so I need a lot of fans for that. <laughs> And, uh, or then I'm up in the mountains and I need a lot of blankets and my uh, cold weather gear for the mountains. So what I have to do is during the winter, I get to push all my cabinets back and my van is spacious on the inside. But during the summer, my cabinets come forward and uh, me and Miss Lucy, we have a little bit of a uh, space in the van, just enough for uh, 
my uh, mat so I can sleep on in her uh, little doggy bed. And then behind all the cabinets, I keep all my gear. You need tents because uh, if I, like uh, Floyd Bennett Field in New York City, uh, you can't sleep in your car. You have to have a tent. So I just throw out a tent. A lot of places are, you got to have a tent. So there's the tent. I'll be sleeping in my car. I don't tell them that, but, uh, that's what I do. So I got to bring a lot more stuff. And then it's summer, you know, I'm, uh, I brought all my, uh, snorkeling gear, uh, my scooter. I'm thinking about going back to Redlands to get my roller skates. It's like, I enjoy summer so much. I may not have time to use all of my sporting equipment, but I certainly enjoy it. But, uh, yeah, I, I need all the, it could be rainy and crappy. Oh my gosh. Floyd Bennett field again. It's like it rained for like four straight days and you have to be ready for all that. Usually in Southern California, it don't rain so much. So, uh, yeah, I need all that gear. So, uh, twice a year, <laughs> I rebuild my van. And then also during the summer, uh, you know, I wake up in the morning, I explore what should be my next stop. Uh, then we travel to the next stop. We explore for the day. We might rest there a day or two and then, uh, we repeat. So there's not a lot of time for jewelry making, uh, which is my passion. But during the summer, what I do, and here's another reason why I clear out the back Okay, if I go to the Goodwill in Southern California for a shirt like this, they're going to want $6.99 for an old t-shirt that somebody wore. Well, when I get to uh, St. George, Utah, uh, Karen knows a bunch of thrift shops and uh, they're not $6.99. They'll be $2. You know, I mean, we'll have shirts that are falling apart and they'll want $10 for it. And it's like, so when I travel, that's part of my planning is I plan to hit a lot of thrift stores. Uh, yeah, so I can stock up on, uh, I stock up on everything from clothes to jewelry making things. So uh, yeah, that's a lot of fun. Uh, yeah. So, uh, that's why I need more space. Uh, you know, and people are like, well, you don't have to move your cabinets. Yeah, but I don't want to live with my skateboard. I watched this one guy, uh, on a YouTube channel and he keeps his bike right there in the van. And it's like, I do not want to be looking at a bicycle, uh, while, while I'm traveling. All right. So, and also what I'm working on are little things for the van and I just lost it. Okay. Let's talk about my surgery real quick. I'm going to miss the Roswell UFO thing. I got these specifically for the big uh, UFO thing they're having at the end of this month. And it's like, no, I can't go. <laughs> sad face, sad face. Anyhow, yeah, that's why I had them there. But uh, on the way home, I may hit Roswell. You know, there won't be a convention going, but it's just as much fun. And it's a lovely little city. All right. So I did all the major things in my van. I'm working on the small things. This is my little Sherpa 100, I think, Yeti 100, Sherpa 100 from Goal Zero. I like it. I put this on myself. It's an inverter, but uh, what it is, is this doesn't work anymore. I can't turn it on anymore, so I'm stuck with the USBs. I have no idea what some of this stuff is for, but anyhow, so what I'm doing on my van is cables, all these cables. Uh, I have a ton of cables and a ton of batteries. And what I do is I, I, I do, you know, there's a uh, power cords, there's a uh, goal zero to charge it up with the transformers in it. Goal zero has its own drawer. Yeti has its own drawer, but like I, ha this is a smaller one. So this is headlamp. This is headlamp battery. All right. Uh, there is a reason for this. And this is just a uh, little masking tape. I had it here a minute ago, but y'all know what masking tape is. Masking tape and marker. Okay, so this will fit into my goal zero. God, where did I put my goal zero? It's right there. And this will fit into my headlamp, but it doesn't mean headlamp. And I got a lot of uh, cables in here. And then of course, long, this is cell phone, long. There's a reason for all this, you know, you want to make your travels as nice as possible. You really do, you know, and you want to make it easy, you know, and putting little labels on it, uh, makes it easy. But the reason why this is called headlamp, it means it's not the big size, it's a medium size. And what the medium size fits is like this. What is this? 
this is a uh, little blender and basically that's a medium size so anything with a headlamp uh, tag on it I know it's going to fit this it's going to fit my uh, lights that go on top it's going to fit where are you it's going to fit my headphones you know it's just that and uh, my cell phone I label you know I, I mean I can look at it and I'm like yes I'm getting older yes the eyesight is bad but I'm like oh is that going to fit my uh What's it going to fit? And it's like, so I just label everything. I do it about once a year because the labels fade. But, you know, like I always say, make your life easier. You know, living in a van sometimes can be tough. All right. So it's the little things that make your life nicer. Yes, it is. All right. And you know what? Don't feel bad about this thing. This thing I've had, uh, I've used it almost every day for six years. So when they say, you know, you get 500 cycles, it's like I constantly use this thing. And it's still got, as long as I can use the USBs, and uh, I have no idea what these are for, but as long as I can use it, I'm fine. All right. Last but not least, uh, I'm uh, doing uh, upcoming videos. What are they on? I'm doing uh, the Blue Eddy. I'm going to unbox that. I hopefully uh, can do that today. Uh, we have relatives visiting, and uh, yes, I believe it or not, I'm having a great time visiting the relatives. So I'm going to do uh, my Blue Eddie uh, review, and then comment call. Comment call will be coming up next. So thank you guys. Thank you for everything. Um, thank you for pushing the like button. Thank you for all your comments. I do love your comments. And within minutes, I read your comment the minute it pops up. So thank you guys for that. I may not be uh, responding to comments right now. I have too many things on the fire, whatever that's called, you know, whether it's a surgery. Well, I'll, I'll tell you what's happening right now. The family is all gone. They all uh, went to meet uh, the, a brother that lives 30 minutes away. I was going to meet the brother, but uh, we all know I have that surgery because I have, I have uh, basically a uh, suture that's pushing in my belly. I mean, can you imagine doing this all day long to your belly, just someone poking it? But now I'm allergic. The only uh, cure for it, the only thing that alleviates the pain of it is wearing a binder, which is like wearing a corset all the time, you know, with metal spikes and everything. Except for I broke out in a rash like two days ago. It was getting better. Now it's a lot worse. So uh, we we're putting on uh, the lollipop. What's that called? Wait a minute. Hold up. Until I can get some help. Hydrocortisone. But then uh, Cavalon, and Cavalon is a no sting barrier film. It helps. It helps, but uh, yeah, the rash is getting bigger. So now I can't wear the girdle, the binder. Um, it's like I have uh, two more days to go until I'm done with this. Maybe. We'll see. Anyhow, thank you for joining me, and I will see you down the road. Bye, guys. And any questions, put it in the comments below, okay? Bye.